Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 12th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet, and welcome to our busy sun now, as we have a new sunspot region, and as well, an Earth-facing coronal hole. And we also had a little treat with a Mercury transition. Watch this transit of Mercury in front of the sun. That little black dot. It's quite an amazing sight. Mercury is so small compared to the sun. It just blows my mind. Amazing images coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory today. And here we are looking at the Earth-facing coronal hole. Elongated straight down to the southern region. And the sunspot, very bright and active, as we're going to be watching that in the coming days. It's quite fiery. We'll have to check out the polarities when we're able to see closer. But still, it seems like a very quiet sun compared to what I've seen throughout my time watching the sun this earth facing coronal hole already seeing a decrease in wind speed so this could be the beginning looking here 311 angstroms you can see all the plasma and all of the energy being shot out of the sunspot region. Amazing. God, I love our sun. Here we are looking at the real time solar wind phase two. And you can see we're steady at about 330 kilometers per second, the wind speeds. We had quite a spike in the density today. But you can see here the solar wind speeds are dropping off right now. Now let's look at the latest for earthquakes. 5.1 most recently here in El Salvador. Let's just boost this up to the last 24 hours. And it seems pretty busy across the United States and California. Looking here, 2.5 there. And as well, 2.8 on the border of Montana and Canada. But look at all these earthquakes. California today. Stay aware and prepared, friends and family. Have a plan and be ready for anything. We've seen how disastrous the San Andreas fault line can be. And if it's accompanied with a Cascadia fault line, we're in for big trouble. And anyways, let's look at the last 72 hours as Hawaii had its largest earthquake in the last little while, 4.9. And as well, 5.4 here, Tonga yesterday and a sizable 6.1 Penge Tonga, 10 kilometer depth. So it has been pretty busy for earthquakes, especially Indonesia and up into the Philippines, where yesterday I reported in the volcanic activity report, all of the volcanoes that are going off just east of the Philippines. There were three major volcanoes that are erupting. 4.7 there. 4.8 of Philippines. Moving north into Hitachi, Japan with a 4.6 at a 35 kilometer depth. And then all these earthquakes over here as well in the Indies. Carlsberg Ridge with a 4.8. And the 4.0, 4.2, 4.7 in Iran and a 4.3 north into Russia. And then, as well, 4.8 struck Mayen, France. This is a pretty rare earthquake for that region. A lot of people were talking about the 4.8 that went off in France the other day. Looking around the world, this one too, a 4.8. 
And this is in the region where that new volcano that I was talking about yesterday, the Heard Volcano. Let's boost this up to seven days, the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. And we have had a lot of deep earthquakes in the Tonga and as well, South America, Central America. Small earthquake swarm cascades. And then a lot of earthquakes over in Europe and Africa the last seven days. But still, seems pretty quiet in North American plate. Stay aware and prepared. I wanted to show you guys here, this is the windy forecast for the next seven days over Greenland. Now, I had put out a video two days ago talking about the 400 centimeters that are supposed to be falling here in Greenland. And this is why. Large system, which is going to quickly move into Europe. Now, watch as this low pressure system develops into possibly a Mediterranean hurricane. They're calling it a Medicane. That's right. So watch through Italy and through Croatia here. This region will be seeing some extreme weather. As you can see, intertropical convergence, straight north winds with the south winds crashing. Watch for those straight line winds to be causing some havoc throughout Italy and Croatia. Now just look at the beast of the storm that forms after that Mediterranean hurricane moves into Europe. 66 knots being recorded on land over Greenland. Now 66 knots, hurricanes go that fast. Actually, I don't even think a hurricane has gone that fast this year. 66 knots the center of the low. So stay aware and prepared Greenland as you're going to see an extreme weather event as well. Very strong winds and a lot of snow. Showing here the next 10 days for snow. Three days. Five days. And then 10 days. Some of these regions receiving 284 centimeters. They've already received the 200 centimeters. So, wow, watch out. And as well, throughout Alaska, a lot of heavy snow as low pressure systems are invading that area as well. Snow right into Korea. And then in the coming days, look at this as well. Parts of Africa, higher elevations of Morocco will be receiving snow. Now, these are some of the regions where a lot of people recorded orange snow. Now, the orange snow actually comes around from the Sahara dust being mixed with the snow in the air, and hence, you end up with orange snow. So looking over Italy and the region where I'm going to be talking about the extreme weather event, they're going to be receiving almost 300 centimeters of snow in the next 10 days. So let's look at the Meteor Earth forecast brought to you by myself, Mike with Morning Dew, and Meteor Earth. Five day forecast overlooking Greenland as that large low pressure system heads in there and then is going to be ushered quickly into Europe. And then watch as the second one comes from the Atlantic provinces in Canada. They'll be receiving some blizzard like conditions along the coastline in Newfoundland. But Greenland is just going to get hammered by that huge Greenland low. Western Canada, low pressure systems hammering the BC coastline the next few days. Watch for a lot of rain and snow in the higher elevations. Temperatures hovering around the freezing mark. Calgary being lucky with our Chinook winds as those low pressure systems come in and fuel the warm Pacific air from the southwest. But you can see quite heavy rains will be affecting the BC coastline in the coming days. Central America watching a, a tropical depression forming here later in the week in the Gulf. And then possible superstorm development as this large low pressure system gains strength. 
I'm going to be watching this over the coming days because this could be a story maker for sure. That is a very large possible Superstorm Sandy scenario developing. We'll, we'll watch to see how strong that high pressure ridge is, whether or not it gets more inland. South America, throughout parts of Bolivia and Paraguay, a lot of heavy rains, torrential downpours, and as well hail. So these regions will be receiving an extreme weather event as well as the heavy rains and hail extreme weather affect them. Argentina, heavy snow along the coastlines here. Over to Australia, where there's no relief in sight, unfortunately, no moisture along the east side, the southeastern regions of Australia. Their temperatures are still very warm in those regions. Northwestern and Western Australia receiving extreme heat, extreme temperature conditions, 43, 44 degrees. Wow, stay aware and prepared. Australia, very dry and hot, desolate continent. Watching a tropical depression forming here as well throughout La Zone. Philippines later in the week so tropical depression will be affecting the Philippines and then overlooking the West Pacific huge low pressure systems developing and raging into the Aleutian Islands watch for an uptick in seismicity through this region and as well extreme weather and extreme cold coming from Russia thanks for watching today this has been Mike with Morning Dew daily events worldwide stay aware prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.